So you're taking credit for uh, Anthony Weiner uh, running for mayor? Yeah, the story is as follows. Many, many years ago, in the early 90s, I think it was, uh, they opened up additional council manic seats. And the one who was supposed to win that seat was a guy named Michael Geller, who was the district leader uh, in the 45th Assembly District. And when I joined the race, I took 2,200 votes. It required 3,700 to win. This, these votes came principally away from Michael Geller, and it allowed a young unknown aide to Congressman Schumer, Anthony Weiner, to squeeze in by 200 votes. So everyone at that time knew that if it wouldn't have been for my candidacy, Weiner wouldn't have gotten in. It's not something that I'm proud of, but the fact is he wouldn't even be running for mayor today. He wouldn't have his $4 million war chest if he didn't get his first position as councilman. Uh, it's unfortunate that he did, but I want you to know that I'm very happy that Wiener is running, and I hope he runs, because if Wiener runs, he now splits the vote uh, of the liberals and the pro-deviants. He, he, he splits that vote to more of an extent with Quinn and with others, and that means it's easier for Salgado to win. Wiener is going to take a chunk of the vote, so this is great. Baruch Haba. Let the Oisworth come in, you know what I mean? And let him take as many votes as possible from the other people. What we don't want him to do, Chas Vashon, would be to win, but I hopefully that won't happen. But if he would win uh, the Democratic primary, would I you just support him? <laughs> I, I just hope if he wins that uh, some of my friends who made a two bishvat party for Christine Quinn won't be making uh, a, a party, a Rosh Hashanah party, or a Yom Kippur party for Anthony Weiner.